So my name is Seamus, I'm going to do your test today, okay? And um, so today we're going to be doing a respiratory muscle strength test and so we're going to be doing a sniff test, which is a sniff nasal respiratory pressure. Have you ever had this test done before? No. No, okay. Before we do the test, you just have to ask a few questions just to make sure it's safe to do the test. You haven't had any recent chest pain or heart attack or anything like that recently in the past month? No. No, no recent eye surgery or stomach surgery? No aneurysms that you're aware of? No pneumothorax or coxone that you're aware of? No, perfect. Okay, so that should be fine to go ahead and do. So, for this test, we're going to check the respiratory muscle strength that you're able to generate when you do a really hard, sharp sniffing. When we're doing it, you need to give your absolute maximal effort, so really put as much effort into it as you can, okay? Can I get you just to block one of your nostrils for me? Take a sniff in. Do the same with the other side. Does either side feel blocked? This side, no, but this side, okay. So we'll probably do it on your left hand side. We'll put the probe on your left hand side, okay? Before we do the test, I'm just going to get you to blow your nose just to make sure that we have any um, no blockage in your nose. Okay, perfect. So you can just place that into the bin. If you want to grab this probe for me, if you just put that far into your left nostril as you can, perfect, and you can hold it in place, okay? So, I'm just going to turn the device on. Okay. So in a second, what I'm going to ask you to do, so I just want you to close your mouth, and I want you to take a really sharp, big sniff in. That'd be good, excellent, okay. So when we get the result, we get it in centimetres of water. So you've done really well. That was 134. Okay. So it was a really good sharp sniffing. So we're going to repeat it a few times just to get the best result. And we want to try to get at least three that vary by less than 10 centimetres of water. Okay. So within 10, 10 of that figure that we just got. So when you're ready again, close your lips. Big sharp sniff. Very good. Excellent. So that was even better. So that was 148, okay, very good, excellent. You feeling okay? Yeah, all good. Perfect, okay. So I'm just going to give you a rest for a minute, because you probably should wait about at least one minute in between doing each one. So we'll probably try one or two more. So close your lips. Sharp sniff, very good. So it's 154. So those last two, 154 and 148, they're very similar. So we'll probably do maybe one more, just give you a rest for a second. You feeling okay? Yep. Perfect. So close your lips, big sniff. Very good. Okay, 152. So the, those last three that we've done are very, very similar, okay? So that's very good. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. This time, I'm gonna get you to block your other nostril when we're doing it. Close your lips, big sharp sniff. Very good, 156. Very good. So just take a rest for a minute. So that's very good. So when we're doing this test, we're generally looking for a value in males. We want a value above 80 centimetres of water for it to be a normal value. So that's very good. So you're doing really good. Close your lips. Big sharp sniffing. Very good. 143. Okay. So we'll probably just try one more. Same thing? Very good. I'm 107 for that one. So that one wasn't quite as good. So because that one wasn't quite as good, we might just try one more just to make sure it's a really sharp, hard, hard sniff in. So really <laughs> as sharp as you can. And try to sustain it for at least two to three seconds, okay? Okay. Close your lips. 
Big snit. Very good. 133. So you're probably getting tired of, at this stage. So generally we wouldn't do any more than 10 measurements. Um, so generally five occluded, five unoccluded. We take the highest result when we present that to the doctors because that's the best value that they're able to get. Okay. Okay. Right, so you can take the probe out of your nose. Very good. So, Joe, now we're going to move on to do a MET, which is a maximal expiratory pressure. For this, you're going to put your teeth and lips around the mouth, so your lips go on this side here, and your teeth just rest here. When we're doing this, I need you to keep your lips really, really tight, okay? So what I'm gonna ask you to do is, you're just gently gonna breathe normally, then I'm gonna ask you to take a big deep breath in, and as soon as you're full, I want you to blow really sharp and really hard. Keep pushing out for a big three seconds, okay? okay. All right, so I'm just gonna set it up. Like the last time, when the device beeps, it's ready to go, okay? really tight, just a normal breathing, very good, big breath in, blow, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, okay, it's fine, relax, very good, very good, so like the last time, we get a number, so the harder you go, the higher the number, this time you got 115, so that was really, really good, so we're going to repeat a, probably a minimum of three of these, we want to try to get three that are similar within 20%, okay, okay. We're going to do the exact same thing. I'm just going to set the device up again. Okay, so it's ready to go. So just teeth and lips around the mouthpiece. Very good. So just gentle, normal breathing. Big breath in. Blow. Keep going, keep going, keep pushing, push, push, push. Okay, that's fine. Very good, well done. So you got 127 again, so that was very good, even a better higher force on that one okay so we're probably going to do one more your technique is quite good so sometimes if we were getting a little bit of a lower result and your technique wasn't quite as good we might use a nose peg but i don't think we need to do that in this situation okay so we're going to try the exact same thing again so just teeth and lips around it good big breath in blow okay, keep going keep the lips tight keep going very good okay Tiny little bit of the lips opening on that, so it's 103, and that's probably the reason that that is a little bit lower. Okay, and um, we might just try one more, just try to keep the lips as tight as you can because as soon as you open your mouth, some of the air escapes and the pressure gets reduced. Okay, it's just one last one, okay, so normal breathing, big breath in, blow. So we've got 127, 120, so those two are very, very similar, okay? So, Joe, we're going to be doing a maximal inspiratory pressure test, so a MIP test. So for this test, you're going to put your teeth and lips around the mouthpiece. You're going to put your lips here, teeth here. I'm going to ask you to just breathe normal, nice and gentle in and out. Then I'm going to ask you blow out, just nice and gently, as long as you can, so you're completely empty, and when you're empty, a big, deep, sharp suck in, as big as you can, and just try to keep sucking for about two to three seconds again, okay? So, you're happy enough with yeah. that? Okay, perfect. So I'm just going to turn it on. Okay, so if you place your teeth and lips around the mouthpiece, very good, so just normal breathing. Gentle blow out. Keep going, 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 keep going. Keep your lips tight and big deep suck. Okay, and come off. Very good. So you got 118 on that. So again, the harder or the sharper you suck in, the higher this number. So we're going to repeat that again. We want to try to get three results that are within 20% of each other. So I'm just going to reset the device. Let's just set it up again. So we're going to do the exact same thing again. So we just place the teeth around the mouthpiece. Keep your lips 
twice because the lights. Lights are down. Keep low, 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 low. Keep going, keep going. Big deep, it's okay. Pop, 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 pop. There you go. Okay, well done. Okay, so that was ninety three. So it wasn't quite as good as the one beforehand, but. Sometimes as you do them, you can get a little bit more fatigued and they're quite difficult to do. So just try keep as much force um, or as much effort into that suck in as you can, okay? So I'm just gonna set the device up again. Suck in, suck, 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 suck. Very good, and come on. Okay, so 116, so that was good again. That was much better, okay? So when we're doing this, we're looking for a value of above 80 again for males, okay? So that's really good, all right? 